This is a 1952 Beechcraft Bonanza, which I'm in a partnership arrangement with here at Nevada County Airport to help defray the rather steep costs of ownership of one of these types of airplanes. Today I took uh, Yaya, the mother-in-law, down to Oakland Airport, dropped her off for her flight and came back. Uh, what would normally be a three-hour drive one way was a two-hour round-trip flight in the Bonanza. On the way back in, the air tankers were operating and the winds are gusting very strong out of the north and east, making a very bumpy ride coming on back in here. And I want to show you a military-style overhead pattern and landing on runway 7 here in Nevada County and how you can blend your operations in with the air tankers at the same time. Here in Nevada County, we don't have a control tower. We have a um, Unicom frequency, so everybody's on the same frequency talking to each other and working out their patterns. Most approaches, especially airline approaches in commercial operations, need to be stabilized approaches. That means you're on speed, fully configured, at final approach power, at a thousand feet above the ground. So from way out there, almost three miles, you're just a straight, steady, stable approach on in. That way they can stack all the aircraft <coughs> in minimum sequence, but they know that everybody's standardized and they've got their stuff together before they land. A military overhead approach is just the opposite. It is a continuously losing of energy all the way around the pattern until you touch down. So it's a continuously changing energy state, the entire overhead approach. So the idea of the overhead is to fly an initial, just straight up over the runway, full steam ahead, until some point, uh, maybe midfield of the runway, or even sooner if you're aggressive, and pitch out, losing energy in the turn, power back, get the gear down, get the flaps down as the speed decays, and then continue the turn right on around, losing, using, uh, losing your altitude from the downwind and losing airspeed at the same time until you roll out and touch down on the numbers. Military overhead style approach. Here's kind of what it looks like in the Bonanza. This, these approaches we did all the time in the military, teaching the young guys flying uh, T-37s and T-38s. The advantages, it gets the most aircraft in the pattern and on the ground in the shortest amount of time. It, too, it keeps you in your ejection envelope bit longer if you are in an ejection style aircraft. And three, also keeps you closer to the runway. If there's some kind of a malfunction, you can easily reach the runway. Here's what the overhead approach looks like from the ground. And he's doing his pitch out there. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other tanker's taken off. So again, maximum aircraft in the pattern and on the ground with these kind of operations. He'll blast off long before he lands. And of course, they're talking to each other on a shared Unicom frequency. Density altitude right now is about 5,000 feet. He's got a full load of retardant, well, at least 800 gallons worth. So he uses damn near all the runway. Meanwhile, he's still on downwind. And there's his uh, base pattern turn out of the overhead. Just keep turning, 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 right to final. And right down in there is where it gets down drafty and bumpy. Now these guys got the advantage of reverse pitch. Really helps them slow down. The engines aren't reversing, just the pitch of the propellers.
parking lot. even in these conditions but the winds are mostly down the runway this time instead of a crosswind but slam and downdrafts back there off the end of the runway Master and mags are off. Now, on these old bonanzas, <laughs> I'll show you something here. On these old bonanzas, on these windy days, you want to be careful opening up these doors. The wind will just whip it right out of your hands and bust the hinges. That's it, the 1952 bonanza. Cadillac of the skies. <laughs> Here's our little pattern we flew on the GPS. There's the uh, 270 we made spacing for the tanker and then here's see how our overhead pattern looked Yeah, nice big circle We didn't even go downwind, but for a few seconds and just kept her coming around First thing you got to do on these old airplanes is make sure it's grounded so you don't create a spark between uh, Okay, where's the damages? Ninety-nine dollars and sixty some odd cent. Well, it's only four fifteen a gallon right now. A bargain. That's round trip from Grass Valley to Oakland and back in the 1952 Beechcraft Bonanza. V-tail. Fine machine.